So somebody sourced or bought it from her on eBay for $500 and they flipped it for $875. <laughs> that Three, two, one. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Uh, we're going to talk about items that sold in June for big money. These were shared by my Facebook members. This is what I posted. Share your best June bolo. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and get ready to have your socks knocked off. All right, here we go. Found eight bleach pens at my local town mini mart, and it looks like they sold for $200. The person bought all eight Clorox bleach pen, no splash, eight of them sold for $200. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Yeah. Check those estate sales, those garage sales. You just never know. That was a local town mini mart. What? I don't know what she paid for them though. Soap was from a yard sale, paid a dollar. It is Casway Macy Casma Luxury Bath Soap, five bars, sold for $50 plus shipping. And the next one, found these boots for 10 bucks at a yard sale. And she said, I should have held out for more on the bleach pens. All right, so the boots are Vintage Nap Motorcycle Engineer Work Boots, size 11, and they sold for 220 and those came from a yard sale for 10. So that's a great return. This one comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures. She's a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships at level two or higher. And she gets a mention in this video. I pop up her eBay store here and I will link it down in the description of the video for you guys to go check out and follow. Uh, this one is so cute. Purchased a bag of plush from the Goodwill for $4 and the bag included five to seven inch plush. My blue nose friends plush. I listed all five separately for $19.99 each plus $5 shipping. I sold two for full asking price within hours of listing them. I've since sold the third one for $17.99. So I have never seen this. My blue nose friends conquer K-O-N-K-E-R gray hedgehog plush stuffed animal and it's got a blue nose so that's how you guys can remember it so it looks like it was a fast sale here's another one from lola's trunk treasures i was thrilled to find this treasure at our local savers on half off day the box was taped closed so i could not see if it was complete but knew from my channel that it was worth it even to part it out. Got it home and it was complete. Sold within a week of listing. Buyer used my 15% off store promotion and was all in for 91 and my profit was 65. So on my, over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel, I should have put this on my main channel, but I parted out a caribou game and I show you guys how I do that, how I did that. Um, but that's over on my other channel. I'll try to remember to link it down below. So she probably watched that video and knew about that. So coupon, she talked about her 15% off store promotion, and then she can also send out coupons. So if you guys are following her store and she sends out a coupon, you guys will get a notification. So always follow eBay stores that you guys like. Here's another one. This was part of a storage unit that I purchased August, 2022. I paid 44 for the unit. Wow, that's great. So I'm only pennies in for each of these items. A few weeks ago, I was putting things out for a garage sale and knew this tub was mostly full of Bath and Body Works perfumes and sprays. I started to put all the perfumes out when I decided to scan the ones I wasn't familiar with. Needless to say, I promptly ran this and two others back into the house and got them listed on eBay that night. This took almost two weeks to sell and the buyer used my 15% off promo. They were all in for $299.86 and her profit was $217. This perfume is new with the box. That is okay. Used perfume is not allowed. I have a video about it. You guys can check it out. Um, very uh, controversial subject, whether or not you can sell used perfume. So, um, if you want to learn more, this is what it looks like. 
Purchased at a yard sale for $1. Sold best offer for $50 plus shipping. These always sell well, but the nursery or circus themed sell a bit higher. That is good to know. Um, vintage pink elephant Dumbo Circus ball melted plastic popcorn, popcorn wall art. This one was sold by Got Junk in Our Trunk. Uh, Rhonda is awesome. She's a Bolo Buddies member, but she is also a moderator of this Facebook group which is not an easy task. This group is huge. Go subscribe to Got Junk in Our Trunk on YouTube and tell her thank you for her services. She's incredible and she has great what sold videos over there. So you guys can thank me later for introducing you to her if you do not already know her. Found this sealed DVD set at an estate sale during their second sale day and thought it was interesting. Everything was half off, so I paid 50 cents for it. Got home and looked up comps and was pleasantly surprised. Sold for full asking price of 50 and only took a few months to sell. It is my music, 20 years of doo-wop, two-pop rock, five DVD set. That was fun to say. $50 right there. Bam. Hey, First big bolo sale. My husband and I bought this at Value Village. I believe it is called Savers in the States. We got the command center and bats, bat sub for $8. Found the quick change Batman still inside the command center. I ended up selling for $135 plus shipping. Buyer paid $223 in total. And after fees and shipping, I walked away with $105 and took five months to sell. To sell. I love these videos and look forward to watching them each month. Oh, thank you so much. Um, as a Batman fan myself, I wasn't in a rush to sell it as it looked great in my own personal Batman collection. It is a Kenner Batman Returns Batcave Wayne Manor Command Center playset. Check it out. Found these at a thrift store without a price and didn't know what to expect when I asked for a price. They said $4.99 each. Yes, please. Took a couple months to sell, but sold for asking price of $89.95. Set of two nautical brass lantern electric red lamp decorative wall scone lights. Those are rad. Acquired a ton of vintage hats and other sports memorabilia in a storage locker. Maybe pennies into each one. Sold on auction. eBay paid. eBay. Buyer paid immediately. I think this is the third or fourth lot of hats that we've listed and sold from the locker. So this is 15 snapback corduroy mesh sports ESPN Ford Mustang Coors LA racing hats. $123.50 on those. Paid $2.50 at an antique store. Accepted an offer of $28. Not a huge bolo, but a little nice fine, and it shipped overseas. It's an antique Royal Vienna Arnert. Arnert? Arnert? <laughs> I can't say that word. A R N A R T. Arnert? Arnert? <laughs> Gold? Oh. Dimitas? Dimitas? Is that right? Footed cup and saucer. And the mark on the bottom, it looks like it says G887 maybe? Or is that their inventory? I don't know. It says mark. Purchased these Viking glass bullseye candle holders at an estate sale for $14. Sold in less than a week for full asking price of $180. Buyer was all in for $225. Check those out. Candle holders, mid-century modern. Okay, so this one comes from Cat dad, I think it's pronounced mercantile. I might be saying that wrong. Um, it says, I am a brand new member. So forgive me if I do this badly. I have two bolos. Uh, this is the eBay store. So I will have it linked down below Bolo Buddies member. Um, it's an OEM carrier thermostat model, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read all those numbers. Programmable original paid $9 at a local thrift store and sold it for $44.98 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $56.81. And the second one here is interesting. Mountain Dew Pitch Black, 12 pack cans. New 2023 sealed. Best by July 3rd of 2023. And this was posted two weeks ago. So from what I understand, anything that is food, you have to be really, really careful with expiration dates. It cannot be expired. And... If 
it's within a certain, it can't expire before it's delivered, I think. Something like that. I don't know. I remember hearing something about it. Just be very careful with food and drinks, guys. Um, I don't know enough about it, but this was posted over, probably over two weeks ago. So he probably got it shipped to them in time. But it says, got it at Walmart for $4.99 and sold it for $19 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $36.58. So just a retail arbitrage, interesting uh, bolo. <laughs> best buy also means, you know, best if used by. It doesn't mean it's actually expired. So I don't know if there's a difference there or not. You guys that sell food, let me know what the rules are for that because I'm not really familiar with all the food stuff. Hi, Courtney. I started looking at brooches after watching your videos. Came across some at a garage sale. The lady was using the stones for other jewelry. I asked how much a piece. She said five for a handful. I grabbed about seven good ones. Small hands. I put a rooster and a pelican together in a lot. They had the most missing. Comps on the pelican were 15 with all stones. The rooster was about the same. Listed them tonight and within five minutes, they sold for asking price of 35 plus shipping on Mercari. I wasn't expecting this. Very excited to adding brooches to my sourcing. Thank you. Two vintage enameled pelican and rooster brooches, gold tone rhinestones, some missing. So that's awesome. Yeah. Even if they're missing rhinestones, people will still buy them. Why? because they can fix them. All they have to do is glue in rhinestones or people are crafting with brooches. They're making like uh, Christmas trees out of uh, like vintage Christmas brooches. They don't even have to be vintage brooches. Uh, Christmas trees, what I wanna do, I love owls. So I'm gonna go into story time right now. I want to get, and Donatella Bottolino gave me this idea. I want to get a lamp, but she said to take a lampshade and pin the brooches to the lamp. Why do I like this idea? Because it doesn't damage the brooches. They can be used again if I decide that I don't want to keep the lamp. But I want to get a lamp that has an owl base. How cute would that be? And then get a lampshade and then put the brooches all over it. So I'm starting to collect um, vintage and not necessarily all have to be vintage, but owl brooches. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. That's going to be my little crafty thing that I'm going to do. I'm not very crafty, but I thought that was easy enough. I just have to find enough owls to make it. So it's probably going to be a pretty expensive lamp by the time it's said and done. But if you've been here a while, you guys know that I love owls and Cat Feeling Thrifty sent me these cute owl earrings. So shout out to her. Um, I love them. They're super cute and they look great with this purple sweatshirt. So I am sporting them tonight. So Thank you, Cat Feeling Thrifty. You guys go follow Cat Feeling Thrifty. She's awesome. And she is going to be coming to Whatnot. So if you're not on Whatnot, definitely get on Whatnot. It's awesome. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. And I'm doing a lot of jewelry sales. So doing other things. I've done some toys and some uh, vintage clothing. What else have I done? I've done vintage shows. I've done vintage Christmas. But jewelry is my absolute favorite. $15 to shop with my referral link. If you guys want to join with it, that's down below. I mean, you guys, it's free money. Go grab it. Check it out. Check out the app. If you want to sell on it, I have a different referral link that will tell them Bolo Buddies referred you to um, sell on the app. So definitely use that. It could give you a little boost and maybe getting accepted quicker. All right, let's keep going here. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds, and she has some cool bolos. I actually just featured her eBay store. It's a whole Bolo Buddies video um, about her eBay sales, and she's a bolo finder. I paid five, I think, at an estate sale. It is a collection of nine limited edition art prints in a portfolio printed in 1970 at my local university. It sold for 120 in about six months. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. And this is her YouTube channel. And her YouTube and eBay is down below. And again, they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships level two to be featured in this video. Piece of Scrap on YouTube paid $5 at the Goodwill, sold for full price of $94 plus shipping on Poshmark. It's Ricky Carmichael Fox Racing exclusive hoodie and it's got the isn't that the monster drink logo I think $94 on Poshmark 
This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. I was looking through a bag of costume jewelry that had been in one of my closets for about 15 years. Most of it was either broken or had stones missing. I found one piece that I always thought was pretty special, but it had two stones missing. I just thought, what the heck? I'll list it and see what happens. Immediately, I was offered $300. I put it up for auction with a starting price of $300 and almost immediately was offered 500. I took the offer. Amazingly, I found that it is a heart brooch made by Coro Craft in 1947. It was part of the Carnegie Hall series of brooches. I paid nothing. I checked on it several days later and found that the buyer had sold it for 875. We both made out like bandits, wish that would happen more often. It was my second biggest sale of all time. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. So somebody sourced or bought it from her on eBay for 500 and they flipped it for 875. <laughs> that is crazy. Piece of scrap paid $6 for these and sold on eBay for 97. Asics gel Nimbus 13 women's size Shoes, size 13, $85.06 plus shipping. And this is what they look like. Piece of Scrap does a lot of clothing and shoes, and I don't. So check her out for YouTube content on that. Last month, I shared a bolo of this brand battery charger. I sold for $115. I found another similar charger, same brand, at a yard sale and picked it up for three. If it had all the clips... It was missing two. It would have sold for over 200. As it turns out, it only sold for 189.99 plus shipping. In the words of George Jefferson, ain't no only in front of that. I've never heard that quote, but whatever. I probably said it all wrong also. But leave it to Jersey Shore Thrifter to make me say something in quotations that I probably say wrong. <laughs> all right, here we go. Sold a couple months ago, just wanted to show you. I bought a lot of items from a storage unit for 20, so I'm pennies into this. Inside a box, I found these weird looking face beads and other faces. My son, who recently started helping me take pictures, said that non-bead faces were Play-Doh that someone made a face into and let dry. He said, no way would anyone buy that. I had learned from Farm Girl Scavenger, Noelle, and Courtney that weird sells, and I was going to list them. No clue how much or how to list what they were, so I did my best, and I just threw out $18. It sold within a month or so. When I showed my son, he was in shock. I made a believer out of him, and now he says we will list everything. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Not sure how to show you the Play-Doh faces and proof they sold. Wish you could see the pics, but it only lets me list one. All right, so this is what it looks like and those sold on Mercari. You can kind of see them. So how you would do that is you click on the picture and it'll take that banner away. All right, this one comes from It's All Goods 94 and she is also over on Whatnot, so follow her. Uh, found this beautiful vase for $5, sold within one day of posting for full asking price of $89.99 plus 56 shipping costs. Bolo for tall vases and Royal Hagger USA can be a bolo. Brown green mid-century large vase, drip glaze. You know what? We're going to stop right there. All right, you guys, what'd you think about those big money bolos? Um, if you would like to share a bolo, go over to the Facebook group. It is linked down below under my link tree link. That's got all of my links, but it's got my Facebook groups. Um, go to the featured section and look for share your best plush bolo, share your best whatever month it is bolo, and share an item that you bought on whatnot and... Um, flipped for a profit. And if you haven't seen the video I did on that, go check it out. You're going to see a couple items that people bought from me and flipped for big money, um, which I think it's great. I, I don't care. Like some people are like, I don't want somebody to buy from me and then resell it. I don't care. Like come get your deals. Come check me out on whatnot. Um, so yeah, 
check out that video. Not only me that people bought things from, somebody actually just bought, it's going to be in another video, a brooch off of somebody. I think they paid, it was in like a bundle deal. So I think approximately $3 for it. And they sold it for $400 on eBay. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek hint of who this, I, I'm just going to tell you who the seller was, but you're going to have to wait to see what the item was. Okay. It is Lucky Day Shop. S-H-O-P-P-E. -P -E, Lucky Day Shop on whatnot. She sold a brooch for $3, something like that. I'll get you the exact numbers in another video. And the person that bought it, who I'm going to tell you later, sold it for $400. So go follow her on whatnot. Can you source on whatnot? Yes. Check out this video. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one.